Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, I'm going to show a quick tutorial on how to do this particular grunge filter effect on your videos. It can be for your Instagram, it can be for your photos or your pictures, just like this. So I'm going to show this particular video, show this particular tutorial on Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro and also how to do this particular technique in your pictures, which is in Photoshop. So with that being said, I'll just jump right into the video because I don't want to just waste your time right now. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to just jump into Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is first drag my clip, whichever I'm going to use or just make your sequence. So when you just import the overlay on your video editing software, let it be Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, just decrease the speed of the overlay to around 75%. It can be any speed, but I feel 75% is a very good speed for this particular overlay. You can also keep it in 100% if you guys want to. So after you change the speed to 75%, you can just copy it once or twice if you think the footage or the overlay is short then you can just copy it after each other so that it can just fit to the entire sequence after that what you need to do is pretty simple first go to the opacity panel and change the opacity to around 50 percent and then go to the blending mode and change the blending mode to overlay and that should pretty much do the trick now i'm going to just add one more thing to this entire video which is i'm going to just add one of my kodak film overlays over this particular clip because i feel both of them actually blends in really properly together so i'm going to just import one of my full pack film overlays and just drag and drop it onto the footage just like this and as it is already in a 1080p format or in a 19 by 6 format, it is already fit in the entire frame. So I don't need to do anything else. And one more thing which I forgot to mention is that make sure to place the overlay, the Kodak film overlay below the grunge overlay in your videos. And this can be done in both Final Cut Pro and in Premiere Pro just like I have shown in this particular video right now, just like it is shown in this screen. So make sure to place it below those layers and it will look really good. So that is pretty much it for this particular video. Your grunge filter is ready to be used. Just import it. You can upload it in your YouTube or your Instagram or your Facebook, whatever places you guys actually promote your videos and it will look really good. And just make sure to do the sound design and add a proper sound effect. In my case, I'm going to add a film roll, camera film roll sound effect, which I have taken from Epidemic Sound. So I'm going to just add in that film roll sound effect. And then this is the final result. So now I'm going to just show this particular video how to do it on pictures and I'm going to show it on Photoshop. So after you open Photoshop, just drag the overlay over the main picture and then after that just resize the particular overlay to any other portions where you feel the overlay will look good. Just by using the eraser tool, I'm going to just rub all the extra portions. So I'm going to just use the eraser tool, rub the extra portions and this option will appear. Just click on OK and re and convert the image into a smart object. After that, just rub all the extra portions which is unnecessary for the overlay on the picture. So after you rub all the unnecessary portions of the overlay, just change the blending mode to color dodge. Yes, change the blending mode to color dodge for pictures and for videos, change the blending mode to overlay. So once you change the blending mode to color dodge, you're going to see a very, very cool looking overlay or a grunge filter kind of overlay onto the footage. And this kind of overlays will look really good if it is in a nighttime neon like or a very lightish environment with lots of highlights and shadows. This particular overlay will really shine through in those particular areas. After that, I'm going to just add in one of my Kodak film overlays, just like I did for the videos. So just adding in one of my Kodak film overlays, just like this, resize it just like the picture and maybe just place the overlay below the grunge overlays and it will look really good and just export it out, post it on Instagram and it will blast off. Trust me, it looks really good. It is very unique. It is a very new thing. I feel it will look really good on your feed. So that is pretty much it for this particular video, guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to watch more such videos. Your subscription and your comments and your like actually makes my day. So your support actually matters a lot in my case. So thank you so much for all the support so far. Make sure to comment down below and let me know your thoughts for this particular video and what kind of videos you guys want to see next. With that being said, this is Pixel Sammy and I'll be back with another another video soon. Peace out.